Okay, um, this is going to be a bit of a ranty video, but also a brutally honest um, first impressions at the WRC VR mode. Now, I already knew what to expect going into this, um, judging by people's comments, other YouTubers' videos, and also my brief experience with this game before it had VR and the shader compilation starters that it had. So, there's no easy way to sugarcoat this. This is diabolically shit in VR. Um, the only way this is ever going to be get better is to go completely back to the drawing board. Um, and the reason I say this, and not many people have mentioned this on YouTube, this is not forward rendered. So this is not like a set of Corsa, Project Cars 2, AMS 2, um, anything like that. Um, this is more in line with a set of Corsa Competizione, um, where it's a deferred render. So... It doesn't really matter what you do to this game. You cannot get it looking sharp um, and non-aliased in VR, basically. The only anti-aliasing anti you've got, um, if I get back into my game, um, is temporal solutions, basically, um, or the DLSS. So you can see I'm on medium with a RTX 3080 Ti, and I'm doing this because this is the only hope I've got of making frame rate. Um, and this is not really the tax inside of this, really. Um, the issue is mostly your desktop resolution um, and being full screen, the void full screen. So I've got in windowed mode at 720p. Anti-aliasing quality, it doesn't say two times MSAA, four times MSAA. It's got no uh, multi-sample anti-aliasing. This is purely temporal um, on the Unreal Engine. So low, medium, high, epic, cinematic. The higher you go with this, the blurrier it gets in VR. Um, that's just how it is, no matter what your render resolution. So, unfortunately, um, everyone's really given this good praise with RTX 4090s, which is all, all well and good that you've got the brute um, horsepower of the GPU to get past the shitty visuals. But for everyone else, um, you shouldn't need to use any upscaling, even on a 48, uh, 4090. Um, shouldn't need any upscaling, especially when you have to lower the render resolution in your headset to start with. So you're you're lowering that on top of the, the low render resolution. So I can show what I'm at at the minute, which is um, it's poor. So video settings, 1968 by 2064. Um, this is way 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 too low um for a vr headset such as this which is 1920 by 1832 panel resolution not render panel so i should be one and a half times that basically i should be up near 28 28 something um so that's um that's not ideal that's just to just to be able to make frame rate at 90 fps um at medium game settings so yeah we're um we're struggling. I, I've got nothing nice to say about this. Um, other YouTubers haven't really cottoned on to the fact that it's not forward render. So, again, they can use their Oculus Link. Compression's going to hide a little bit of uh, the blurriness um, because you've got artificial sharpening on your image. I'm using an actual Steam VR native Steam, Steam VR headset here on the for Link display port. Um, it just looks like shit. So there's absolutely no, there's no getting around it. Um, I'm just going to jump into the same one here because it's going to make no difference to what level track car I use. You can see even the, just the main menu. It's got CPU frame time spikes knocking onto the GPU frame times. Um, it's just awful. So getting into here, this may look okay in a recording. I highly doubt it, but there's no upscaling. I've got the foveated view turned on, I've got the hidden area mask um, as big as it can go. So text, menus, absolutely fine. The game, geometry, tarmac, edges, everything is aliased and horribly low res. Um, and that's not because I've lowered that red resolution all the way down. That is a sort of a trade-off of doing that. But this is purely because it's a deferred render. Uh, there's no way to clear this up. It, it just needs completely scrapping. And doing again because it's it's just the wrong technique for using VR. Um, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Um, there's only a few certain games that I have in my library that actually use deferred rendering. That's a set of course of competition. 
which I hate and I don't play because it's such a pig to run and it looks absolutely horrible. Um, and basically contractors, the original contracts before they've done their Warzone copy, whatever it is, um, that looks horrible as well. And it's it's just wrong for a racing game. I don't know why you would ever do that. Um, the last thing I need to say, and I can't, I can't show this really because even OBS with CPU or GPU recording is going to show these red lines. But the settings I'm at in-game and the resolution I'm at in-game, it looks poor, but I could play it with a stable frame time. However, this is the, the issue. The, the actual game has not the VR mode it's, uh, as such. The game has shaded compilation style. So I'll be driving up the road. I've not been on this track before. I'll be driving up the road. I get a red line. I get a spike. And then a little bit further on, I get a spike. I get a spike. And it's, it's shaded compilation style, which is just inexcusable for a racing game. So the only way for me to get through a stage fully smoothly is to do the whole stage and then restart and do it again because it's it's then in the cache it's, it's got it's got this um the shaders there that's just piss poor it's it's awful it, this was an issue i returned this game for originally even before i had the vr mode so i've watched a few videos on youtube i can see on the monitor because how sensitive i am to it i can see the rubber banding that's happening to them and they say nope no problem it's all smooth it's all great in the headset it's bollocks. It's absolute bollocks. Um, this is just the worst title that you can buy right now for Sim Racing in VR, and I would just highly advise avoiding it. Um, avoid it like the fucking plague. So, this is not going to get better. This is in beta. It's not going to get better if it's going to stay with the third rendering and it's going to have shader compilation stars. No matter what they do to increase the performance for you, the visuals are never going to match that of any other forward render racing title like AC, AMS2. It's never going to be able to match that and the performance is always going to suffer but that's the worst case of all is it's got this unreal engine shader compilation stutter and i don't know what that is go look at digital foundry's videos they seem to be uh, always finding this and they always hate it and always mention it in a racing game it's just inexcusable it's absolutely inexcusable so yeah this is going to now sit in my library dormant probably for the next three years until something happens maybe they can fix it or rework it so you've actually got some shader compilation progress bar before you from when you first start the game um but i highly doubt it i highly doubt it at this point so code masters what the fuck have you done what have you done